Welcome back, everybody. It's time for a meal makeover for the new year. And we've got the perfect person. Not only a nutritionist, Ellie Krieger is also a best selling cookbook author. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. Thank you. Yeah, I think a lot of people are in their resolution mode, maybe losing a little steam at this point. And so I'm here to give you some inspiration. And one of the things that most people don't really necessarily think about is that it all really starts at the grocery store because it's the foods that you buy which becomes the foods that you eat. So really starting there. And that's why I have partnered with Aldi because they have absolutely everything you need to stay on track, to stay on budget, and to stay also inspired because I think we all need some meal inspiration. Um, and then I also think there's a lot of confusion out there about different diet plans and people, they all seem so contradictory and confusing. But what I've identified things they all have in common. So everything on this table, all these ingredients are things that all, no matter what plan you're on, can help you stay on track. Even if you're just doing your own thing, no matter what can help you stay on track. So the number one thing is to incorporate lots of fresh produce. If you were to do one thing to keep healthy, that would be it. And it is consistent throughout any plan you look at. So um, Aldi has a fabulous selection throughout the year of seasonal, fresh, organic produce. And I incorporate produce as really the backbone of all my recipes. Um, and, and once you start there, you're immediately on a healthy path. It's really remarkable. How do we make sure to add protein in, whether we're sticking with totally plant-based or we're interested in adding some meat? Yeah, exactly. So I'm an omnivore. I eat everything. Um, and, I've, and the idea, though, with protein is that you want to include some source of protein in every meal or snack. And if you just do that, you don't have to count grams and things like that, but including some kind of protein. And that can be from fish, from chicken, from meat. Um, it can also be from plant sources. And I think a lot of people feel like, oh, those plant proteins, they're just for vegetarians. But it's not true. It would benefit everyone um, to include some more plant protein. So it doesn't have to be an all or nothing proposition. So what is plant protein, right? It's beans, nuts, seeds, nut butters, um, uh, things like hummus, which is made with beans, right? Uh, it's easy to get plant protein when you spread a nice amount of peanut butter on a piece of toast in the morning, whole grain, have some fruit with that. So it's not difficult to do. I also love to keep these veggie burgers in my freezer so you can make a quick burger or even break them up and put them in taco shells with a nice fresh slaw on top. And that's an example of how it can all come together really easily. Quickly, Ellie, what about some alternatives to the refined carbs? Seems like everybody's trying to cut down on those. Yeah, so I mean, um, making sure you opt for whole grain, whole grain breads, whole grain crackers. Um, also, some of the kind of grain substitutes like cauliflower rice is really wonderful, and you can buy that package now, which is terrific. Um, and I, also, I do the zucchini noodles, so this stir fry that I have that's from my new book, Hole in One, that incorporates the zucchini noodles. Um, so these are just examples of how you can kind of do uh, grains without doing it in a refined way, and I think that can really be a benefit to anyone. Well, we appreciate you helping us eat the rainbow because that's the thing I'm <laughs> looking at on the table. It's beautiful. Exactly. Hole in One is totally, the Totally. Absolutely. So for more, you can go to uh, aldi.us. Okay, thanks, Ellie. Always good to talk to you. You too. Thank you. You bet.